uh, while uh, constructors and uh, uh, methods have uh, different roles in the life of the object, uh, they um, use uh, both uh, parameters uh, which are um, a particular kind of uh, variables that are used uh, as a temporary messenger uh, to uh, get uh, some uh, value from outside the class uh, and uh, put it uh, in, in, in a field or uh, in a constructor or in a method. And to do this, uh, there is um, a box that is created, uh, which is called constructor space, or uh, in case of methods, uh, method space, uh, in which uh, the value that is passed by the user uh, goes into this uh, constructor space so basically uh, like in the ticket machine um, when when we uh, give uh, a value and in this case it's the uh, it's called uh, the this value is called the actual parameter to distinguish it from the formal parameter, uh, which is uh, the the cost uh, variable, which uh, is present in the in the code uh, for the constructor of ticket machine and. So this is the formal parameter and the uh, price that to the uh, like 500, 500 cents. It, this is uh, the um, value that is called the actual parameter that will be passed uh, first into constructor space and that is done uh, when the object is created um, as a separate uh, at this separate box that then immediately uh, when uh, the constructor has uh, uh, finished to um, in instantiate uh, the object, the, um, the constructor space um, disappears and uh, with it um, the um, Mm, the, the, um, the, the both the formal parameter and the actual parameter uh, disappear uh, because they, they are just stored in the constructor space and so when we do this um, and look at what's inside the object we don't see the constructor space we don't see uh, cost the, the, the formal parameter cost uh, yes the actual parameter is 500 but uh, it's not anymore um, the the the, the uh, the, the value that was uh, originated by um, 
uh, that was originated when the uh, object was uh, instantiated um, because at um, uh, th this is not uh, uh, th there is a difference between uh, constructors and uh, fields uh, so th uh, for constructors the parameters um, have a different uh, scope from the scope of the field the scope uh, is uh, at the parts of um, source code in which um, th uh, that variable uh, can be used and uh, the scope of uh, any kind of pa uh, parameter uh, is um, restricted uh, within is limited uh, within the uh, body of the constructor uh, so um, this is called the, 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 it's said to be uh, it said that uh, the scope is restricted to the body of the constructor or of the method uh, instead for a field the scope of uh, uh, the field is the whole class in which it is defined and the, um, uh, the, the, and basically um, the field uh, uh, the field price pass total uh, can be used uh, by um, everything, every piece of the code, and there is another concept that is the lifetime of a variable, and uh, a constructor uh, a variable, so a parameter. Uh, has a lifetime uh, that is uh, uh, restricted to, uh, to 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 itself to to the constructor or the method. So once the uh, constructor uh, has executed um, the uh, parameter uh, disappears so that's why uh, the formal parameter cost uh, is lost and its value that was stored in it um, is not present uh, anymore too so that's why uh, it's n uh, there is this need to uh, store um, persistently um, a value that was uh, taken from outside the class like in this case uh, the value for cost uh, and the place to, uh, where uh, values can be stored persistently are fields because the, the lifetime of a field uh, is um the um uh, is uh, from when the uh, object is created uh and so it leaves uh, w with the object uh then um what else? Mm. I don't know what uh, the exercises. Oh yeah. Okay. Basically, uh, you you, uh, you can name the. Um, I mean, to, uh, we have a choice uh, to 
give a name to uh, fields uh, and uh, price balance total are um, all names that reflect uh, the purpose of um, the value that is stored in them and so it gives useful information about what uh, these uh, variables uh, help uh, in doing and uh, it makes it easier to understand uh, how they work uh, so basically it's better even if it's not necessary it's better to uh, give a name that uh, brings the essence of uh, this uh, um, this variable and like also cost even if it's not a field it's um, a uh, formal parameter it uh, still uh, gives information about what is stored uh, in this variable so the exercises uh, ask what is the constructor here uh, for uh, public st student and uh, what is the class of the constructor public student string name and the class is student because the name of the constructor has to be uh, the name of the uh, class um, how many parameters does public book string title double price have it's two and it's string title and double price and the types are string for title and double for price uh, then the types that the fields of the books class uh, might be uh, they can be uh, two uh, one can be called title or um, name uh, or work uh, and something that that is along the line and for uh, the price uh, it can be that there is a field uh, to store price so it can be called cost amount uh, something like this and the types will be string and double but I think it can also be something else like basically I think for a title there's nothing uh, that can that you can substitute with uh, so I think most probably it's string for for a uh, title but for price maybe it can also be float uh, I don't know int if we don't consider sense uh, okay